Hello and welcome to day four of the Sporty Pico Sew Along. Today we'll be creating the hood if you've opted for this style and we'll be hemming the crop if, you, if you're doing the crop option or if you're doing the tunic with the curved hem today is also when, you, when you'll be finishing the hem. So let's get started with the hood. Take your, I'm doing the lined option, so I'm basically doing this step twice. Take your hood and place it right sides together, like so, and we'll be sewing around the outer part of the hood, so the top and the back part of the hood with a half an inch. Line. If, you, if you've opted for the non-aligned hood, then now you can go ahead and hem along the raw edge of the front of the hood. Just hem the raw edge with a half an inch hem. If you're opted for the lined uh, version, which is what I'm doing right now, take your lining piece and place them right sides together and sew them the same way you've sewn the main piece along the top and the back. Like so. Obviously, give it a good press to reduce the bulk. So open the hood lining and the hood main, in my case it's the same print, so there's no really, not really a lining, and match the raw edges and the center stitch you just did at the top. And put a pin, and then also sticking with the fabric right sides together, pin in place around the front raw edge just a couple of pins to keep it together and same thing for the other side And we'll be stitching this down with a half an inch seam allowance. to turn your hood with the right side out, push your lining inside, like so, and I like to add a couple of pins around, a couple of clips around the edge, and then top stitch it down. You can use your uh, cover stitch or a zigzag stitch to stitch this down or a, just a regular stretch stitch it will lay nicer if it's uh, top stitched. 
and prevent any rolling. So this is what it will look like and go ahead and stitch around the front right the front is top stitched of course it does need a good press so now lay your hood I'm gonna work with it upside down so lay your hood matching the center notch so remember when we cut the fabric we put two notches that are on the pattern pieces on the hood and the lining so I'm matching those that those notches and clipping it in place and then pin in place along the side so this is the overlap of the hood on the front you can go ahead and baste this if you want to make sure it stays in place and I do recommend that you baste in place this overlap this way when you go attach it to the the actual uh, shirt it won't uh, you won't miss any of the layers I went ahead and basted the three the four layers together here with the matching notches so I know for sure they will not um, be missed when I attach the hood so now I'm going to take my shirt and find the center back and the center front of the neck opening if you're using the same fabric for the uh, shirt make sure that you mark which one is the front and which one is the back okay so now I'm turning the shirt inside out because it's easier to just slip my hood inside so slip your hood inside make sure that the head opening is goes towards the front of the fabric the front of the shirt I've done that before that's why I'm insisting to double check when the print is the same now it's pretty obvious because I have a totally different fabric on the back but when the print is the same it's very easy to miss this and now you're going to match the center back that you just marked to the center back seam of your hood and pin it in place and then you're going to match the notch to the center front and then pin around the hood making sure that you catch all the layers at the front where you've overlapped if you have not basted put at least two pins on each side this way you don't have a date with your seam ripper later on when you realize you didn't catch all the layers so I'm putting a pin at the shoulder seam There you go. This is what it will look like pinned in place. So now we're going to go ahead and stitch it down with a half an inch seam allowance. Make sure there is no pocket. Go slow where you have that big bulk of fabric at the front.
the last steps for today are hemming if you're doing that option so this is how it looks like on the back with the hood on and this is the front so if you're doing the hem option today you're going to be uh, hemming the um, crop option or the tunic option the shirt option has a band there is no hem option for the the shirt so i'm going to also be linking two blogs in uh, today's uh, blog one will be the one where i show you how to uh, i give you some tips for hemming in a curve if you're looking to get an, a video for hemming in a curve hem cur If you're looking to um, see a curved hem in action, then you can definitely go on the Patterns for Pirates blog and search, or the YouTube channel, and search the favorite tea sew along. During the favorite tea sew along, I hemmed my dress uh, with my cover stitch, and that was a curved hem, so you can definitely check that one out. And I do believe I've, I've done other ones, but I, that's the first one that comes to mind. I will also link the five tips I have for you for easy hemming. And um, last week or two weeks ago, Rachel, who's part of our Parents for Pirates blog team, posted a, an amazing blog about grommets. So you can definitely refer to that if you're doing the crop option and uh, adding that um, waistband grommet and um, cord so all of that will be linked if you're doing the bandit option like I am then I'll meet you back here tomorrow where we'll be finishing the hoodie with the band and the cuffs for the sleeves if you've opted for the short sleeve today is basically your last day because you're hemming your sleeves unless you did the short sleeve with the waistband and then you, uh, you, you'll be back here tomorrow. So um, I'll see you back here tomorrow when we, so we can finish up the hoodies. Bye.